What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today we're coming in with a very exciting video. Today, we're trying out THCP, but before we dive into that, first off, I want to mention, I know that my hair is fucked. I need a haircut, dude. God damn it. it. Look at how it's sticking out all crazy. I knew I had to comment on that or else everyone else would. But, second off, this has been a highly requested one. So I felt the urge to do this. I got my hands on some THCP from Bay Smokes. We're going to talk more about that and what THCP even is. We're going to take some rips and then I'm going to come back a few hours from now and let you guys know the scoop of how it all went. So... First off, let's talk about what THCP even is, right? I'm pulling this directly from the Bay Smokes website. You, If you want to read this too, you can go on Google, look up Bay Smokes, they'll be right there. But, according to them, THCP is a rare naturally occurring cannabinoid believed to be up to 33 times more potent than THC on the CB1 receptors and up to 10 times more active than THC on CBD2 receptors. CB2 receptors, not CBD. Listen, I'm so used to saying CBD, goddammit. Either way... Combined with Delta-8 THC, THCP provides a unique fast effect that completely separates it from other cannabinoids. Why did I say fast? Dude, that's not even a part of it. Either way, you guys can see it on the screen. I don't know. I can't read. What can I say? Hopefully, I'll be able to read even less after I hit this. Uh, but... The gist of it is, this is supposed to be very strong. And the reason that I, I decided to get it from Bay Smokes is because they have all their lab testing stuff on their website. I wanted to make sure if I was doing something that was supposed to be this strong, it was tested and legit. So here we are. This is the most legit THCP I could find. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Now, we've got the cart here, but we're actually going to be hitting their disposable. This is Pineapple Express. We've got it right here. This little bad boy. Look, I haven't even taken the, the thing out yet. I haven't even taken the little protector out yet. But all we're going to do is we're going to chill out. We're going to take a couple rips of this. We're going to talk about my initial feeling. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to discuss a little later how my afternoon went. I'm going to take some rips. Well, it's not even afternoon. It's like night by now. But either way, I'm going to take some rips, chill out, play some games. We'll see how I feel. I'm expecting to get pretty stoned here. Allegedly, this is supposed to be 10 times stronger than normal THC. We're going to see how that stacks up. So, let's go ahead and take our first rip. That's actually pretty smooth. Now, another thing that's kind of interesting about THCP is apparent <coughs> oh my god apparently it doesn't bind to your receptors the same way that normal THC does so apparently your tolerance for normal THC won't necessarily cross over with your tolerance for this so i'm pretty excited here first impressions after that hit i definitely feel something kind of setting on a little bit I want to take a few more rips and then hop off camera here and go do my thing for the afternoon and come back a little bit, bit oh my god, I can't talk, a little bit later and see how it goes, right? Let's take a couple more rips here, but right off the bat, I definitely feel different. I wouldn't say I like am super stoned yet, but that's not really how weed works anyways. You'll smoke a blunt and it'll take 10-15 minutes before you're sitting there like, damn, I'm stuck out of my mind. Let's take a few more rips. Dude, I really need a haircut. Holy fuck. Look at that. Look how bad it's sticking out. Oh my god. I look like I'm going through my worst drug phase ever and I'm supposed to be sober. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. Either Dude, I need a fucking haircut, man. It's getting crazy out here. I'm feeling pretty nice so far. I'm still not stoned out of my mind, but that's what the long-term use is for. Let's take one more rip of this, and then we're going to go do my thing. I'm going to go play some games for a little bit, and we're going to come back and talk about how this feels. Because obviously no one wants to see me sit here for like three hours straight. So that's not what we're doing today, but... It's very smooth. I will say, this is a lot smoother than almost any other, like, 
Delta 8, or any other kind of disposable that I've really hit. This is super smooth and easy to rip. All right, we're going to hold this last one. Oh, God. Oh. We're going to hold it. There we go. Pretty much gone. But I'm going to go chill out, play some games, keep ripping this thing, and we're going to come back and talk about THCP and how it stacks up to all the other derivatives I've done so far. Well, clearly, as you can see... It is not nighttime anymore. How I'm going to start this review of THCP is I'm going to say that this fucking shit put me to sleep like a baby. It is what, 9 a.m. right now? I just slept through the whole goddamn night only off a fair chunk of rips off of this thing. Now let's talk about how it felt for a minute. I'm going to give you guys the breakdown of THCP because it's not exactly like a normal high. There was a few key differences that I noticed that I didn't really notice uh, or things I wouldn't notice most of the time when I'm smoking normal weed, right? Now, first off, one of the key differences that I noticed with THCP is I noticed that I had a, a much more clear-headed high than I normally would if I took a dab or smoked a few blunts or something like that. I was sitting there, and I was very level-headed. I actually, before I ended up passing the fuck out, was watching, like, documentaries on YouTube and shit. Which is something, to be fair, I would do when I'm normally stoned. But I felt like I was more, like, able to process the information, if that makes sense, you know? Another thing is, I didn't really have, like, the giggles or, like, the urge to... I, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm stoned, I like to watch a movie or I like to watch, like, funny shit on YouTube. That's not really the mood I was in when I smoked this shit, right? Um, obviously, there was a combination of Delta 8 in these as well. But, the t you know, I just didn't really have, like, the giggles necessarily. It was very clear-headed. The majority of the high that I had came in in the form of a body high. And I really fucking enjoyed that. Now, I've talked about this in my videos before, but I have back problems, dude. I have a really bad back, dude. Like, I, I mean, it's probably from sitting in this chair all goddamn day. Shout out Herman Miller for the back support. But, like, I just have a really fucking bad back. And when I was chilling last night after taking some rips of this, I went in my room and I was laying in my bed playing Demon Souls. And while I was laying there, I just remember I was ripping this the whole fucking time. And I felt fantastic. It felt like I was on a cloud. Like, it, I shit you not, not a single bone in my body was even slightly sore. I felt like I'd been a gymnast my whole life. And you can look at me and assume that I haven't been a gymnast my whole life. So, I was really fucking impressed with that. But another thing I noticed is... Even though it was a very clear-headed high, I also felt like my mood was really good. Like, I was just chilling all night. I was playing some Demon Souls, bumping some music off my PlayStation, having the time of my fucking life. I didn't really have munchies or anything like that, I will say, which many could say is a good thing, honestly, because the next morning when I wake up and I've plowed through a bag of chips, I kind of feel like shit about it, you know? So that's a pretty good start, but... I didn't have any munchies, and another thing that I felt was really different from normal THC is I was awake for quite a while. I didn't end up passing out, but I never really felt like a, a kind of crash, if you will. I feel like a lot of times when I smoke weed, I'll towards the end of my high, I'll feel kind of like a crash where I get really tired or really like, uh, I, I don't know, like sluggish almost, and I'll need to smoke some more or do something, maybe like drink some coffee to get me out of that, you know? I didn't really notice that with this, and I gotta give props, I gotta give credit where it's due. I spent all of last night with this thing, I even woke up this morning, and before I came in to record this, I spent a few minutes ripping this, so I'm feeling good right fucking now. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed so far. Yeah, I, I don't think THCP is necessarily still gonna get you the same exact high as regular, you know, a blunt or a dab, because it's all about the terpenes and all that, right? It's the, it's the entourage effect. But at the same time, 
this is probably, I'd say, one of my favorite derivatives so far. If you're looking to actually feel a difference, I would recommend this so far. Mind you, I have not tried THCO yet, and there's a few other derivatives I also haven't tried yet. But out of the ones I have tried being HHC, Delta 10, and Delta 8, I would say that this is pretty damn up there. So, I don't know. My overall, where would we put this stacked up with the other ones? I'd say it's fairly on par with HHC, right? I'd say it's fairly on par with HHC. The differences between these two aren't going to be extremely noticeable. I think THCP is a little bit stronger. I know it's supposed to be 10 times stronger on your receptors, but either way, I, I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily say I got 10 times more stone than if I hit a cart or something similar. But at the same time, I felt great. And I'd have to recommend this stuff. If you're looking for something lighter than regular THC, uh, in some cases cheaper depending on where you are, I, I'd roll with this. I'd roll with this. I think this is a good pick. But next up, we're going to be trying THCO. So get ready for that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little review video. Overall, uh, THCP is a clear-headed, at least in my experience, kind of a clear-headed body high that also has some mood elevation. So overall... It gets the thumbs up from me. We're going to be doing THCO up next here very soon, so get ready for that. Thank you guys for tuning into this one. Shout out to Bay Smokes once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, gamers.